Daddy, what is a soulmate? It's a... Uh, well, it's like a best friend, but more. It's the one person in the world who knows you better than anyone else. It's someone who makes you a better person. Actually, they don't make you a better person. You do that yourself because they inspire you. A soulmate is someone you can carry with you forever. It's the one person who knew you and accepted you, believed in you before anyone else did and when no one else would. And no matter what happens, you will always love them. Nothing can ever change that. Love is more than a feeling. The best way to describe love for me is not to tell you how I feel or what it looks like to me. It's who it is. Love is you. Love is Maylee and love is Presley. Maylee, I just want to say you look beautiful tonight. You look very great. Love you. <laughs> I may not be your father, nor do I plan to take his place, but I will be a loving man by your side. I love you, Maylee. As I see it, I may not be your birth mother, but nothing is more satisfying than being able to be your stepmother. I promise to always treat you as I would my own daughter. I also promise to treat you, to treat your daddy right, and love you both for the rest of my life. See, family is very important to these two. And if you're here today to bear witness, consider yourself family. Consider yourself part of what is happening today, a start of something beautiful in the sight of God. Knowing, too, that your families have agreed, that your families have come into an agreement that this, this union can take place. They accept y'all with each of your flaws. You now become something greater than yourself. So now you have to accept each other with a very few flaws and with all the talents. So I ask you now, with all the happiness, the sadness, the joy, the pain, can you live with each other for the rest of your life? Justin, we were asked, what is love, not too long ago. And until then, I never really thought about how I would actually define the word. We all know that it's a feeling you get when you want to spend your life with someone and wake up to them every day. Yes, but it's so much more than that. That without love, we are clanging simple. But with love, we can do all things through Christ Jesus. Love is more than just a feeling. It has become who I am because of you. It is the drive to do better, to be better. The comfort when I'm upset, the times where we laugh so hard our stomach hurts, the times when you hold me together when I'm falling apart. Love is your breath of fresh air when I feel like life is drowning me and your light at the end of a dark tunnel. Love is giving your all when you feel like you have nothing to give. It is, it's not giving up or running away. It's doing everything in your power to make that person happy. Megan, almost 11 years ago when I first laid eyes on you, I only dreamed of love, of what it would feel and look like. I spent the next eight years searching for those butterflies that you gave me. I was lost. I was lost until I found you again three years ago. Those beautiful butterflies come back again. We choose you. As you know, promises mean everything to me. So with that being said, Justin Adam Thorne, I not only promise you, but I think he promised you 
that I will never stop giving you my all no matter what life throws at us. I promise to support you in your goals. I promise to always be your best friend. But most of all, I promise to never stop loving you. Justin, I vow to give myself to you today and everything that I am every day for the rest of our lives. I love you. I'll say I do for the rest of my life with all that I have I do. It is the day we enter together on a path of marriage, supporting each other in everything we do. Today, I affirm my love for you, to respect you and love you. I take you to be my wife, to have and to hold in sickness and health. And from this day forward, you shall be the first in my heart and our souls shall be together as one. I commit to love you as your husband forever and ever and to know that we will write our love story together. It will be the greatest one told. I choose you. There's only one thing left to do. I say that you can kiss your bread. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Justin Adam Thorne. <laughs> and family. <laughs> <laughs>